Today marks the 54th anniversary of the Palm Sunday tornado outbreak. 53 people were killed in the state after a dozen tornadoes touched down. Meteorologist Laura Hartman is here now with a look back at one of the most significant weather events in our state's history, Laura. Yeah, Nick, one of the strongest tornadoes from that day was an F4, and it hit only a few miles north of 13 on your side. I spoke to a survivor that marks today's anniversary as his second close call with a violent tornado. His view is serene now. I was laying on the couch with a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. But Ed Hood? It started raining very hard. Has lived through catastrophe. Dad went to the front door and seen it coming. The day of one of Michigan's worst tornado outbreaks. And he said, head for the tornado shelter. April 11th, 1965, otherwise known as the Palm Sunday tornado outbreak. Just having a t-shirt on, I went into the bedroom to grab a jacket and uh, the wall fell on me. What were your injuries that day? A cement uh, wall fell on you. I was very fortunate. I had a cracked jaw and a bad cut on my heel, mm -hmm. but that was it. Ed and his family never made it to their tornado shelter out back, a shelter built because of a previous near-death experience. This is the second tornado we were in because we also got hit in 56 from the Standale tornado. This time, the family home had crumbled. And the tornado hit in 1965 was right on Six Mile and Alpine area. Where the Swan Inn is, and they got, that got destroyed, that got flattened. And like I said, we lived right across the road from that. The Swan Inn has since rebuilt, but some lost everything. We also found uh, the neighbor girl that was killed in the tornado. Then after that, uh, Things kind of went blank with me. Ed will never forget the devastation of that day and the years it took to rebuild afterward. Needless to say, he takes every weather warning very seriously. When the wind blew, we took cover after that, let me tell you. <laughs> and a lot of folks still remember that event and impacted so many, including our own chief meteorologist, George Lessons. George, this sparked a lifelong love of weather for you. See, I grew up here in West Michigan. I used to live out in Lowell, and uh, I was a youth at that time, young kid. And I didn't actually go through the tornado, but I witnessed what was happening in the aftermath of that. Mm -hmm. Saw big uh, thunderstorm clouds after the event. Um, I don't know if you know what mammatus clouds are, but those, those puffy clouds from the thunderstorms, kind of an orange, yellowish, mustard brown color. and. My parents were crazy about these clouds and we watched the evening news that night because that was the only way you could get weather information. And I saw all the devastation and I just wanted to know what drove my parents crazy and what caused this kind of weather. So I wanted to find out about that. That is what started me down the career path as being a meteorologist. And a successful one it's been, but have you ever had anything quite like that event? since you've been working in the industry? Well, a couple of years later, we had a 67 outbreak, mm -hmm. and that went through Southeast Grand Rapids and East Grand Rapids, and there was quite a bit of damage with that. So imagine 65, you're just excited about severe weather. Two years later, you get something almost as exciting. Um, I think there's only one event since then that has made me crazy, and that was the wild winds of 98. Just 20 years ago. Just 20 years ago. Wow. George, thank you so much. Nick, we're gonna send it back to you.